Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Thursday the 15th of February 2024. I hope you are keeping well, in good health and able to breathe in a normal fashion. I say that because um, I noticed there was a, a warning, an air pollution warning today of high, very high levels of PM 2.5 uh, given out for Bangkok and in fact the BMA, which is the Bangkok Metropolitan Authority, was requesting people to uh, stay indoors. And uh, well, I, this is my day off, and this is the one chance I get to go swimming in a reasonably empty swimming pool. So I had to weigh the balance of going out for like 30, 40 minutes and swimming or not doing any exercise, which is worse. I don't know which is worse. So I decided to go swimming anyway because I think we get a lot of pollution. <laughs> another day's pollution is probably not going to kill me uh well it, it's just adding to the the um c considerable amount of pollution that must have built up over the years of living here um what's going on it's carnival time in rio uh and uh, so i love brazilian music and i hope you are having fun if you are there it's on for another couple of days on and think until the 17th and i was just saying i didn't know it was on actually i just found out today not that I could have booked a ticket and gone, but I think it's one of the few things, events in the world that I would really like to see that I have never seen. There are not many th places that I really want to go to or th events that I've never seen in my life that would like that I would like to visit. And I think that's probably one of them. I'm a great fan of Brazilian music, mostly jazz, it's true, but I do also enjoy samba and other Brazilian music. Right now, this is a take two for me. Uh, a moment ago, I was playing the game and uh, I believe I, I, I didn't find uh, uh, an actual error, but I messed. I was putting in candidates, pencil marks, and I messed it up somehow or another. And th that didn't actually prove that I'd made an error. But in an abundance of caution, I decided to stop the game and restart. And uh, since I know that I'm going to be using pencil marks, I'm going to be playing with pencil marks right from the get go. OK, so uh, I'm just going to put in the pencil marks right at the start um, so uh, there you are this is not going to be a notation free game because I couldn't manage it before after playing it for a while okay so I'm going to start with the ones blocking across here though that's going to at least allow me to put oh sorry a one in here and uh, we have one blocking across here and up here so that puts one into one of these squares blocking across here blocking across here one up one down that will give me a one there um, what do we know about the twos? They are in those squares up there. And they are down here. And they are, well, not in this square. Okay, we've got two blocking across here. So two in one of these two squares, blocking back in this way, two down here. That's going to give me a two there. Uh, we've got two up here and two across there and down here. So that's going to put a pair of twos there. Uh, while I'm doing the candidates, I did say I was going to put in candidates at the beginning, so I will do that right now. I'm going to put the ones in there. Twos are done. What's going on with the threes? Three blocks across here and down here like this, which means that three will be in one of those two squares there. Ah, I do believe I saw something earlier. Okay, threes are somewhere there, and threes will be in those squares over here because of this three and this three. Uh, I think I've worked this row out before, did I not? What's missing here? One, two, three, uh, five, three, five, seven. Yeah, okay, we've got seven blocking this square, seven blocking this square. Let's put in a seven there. And... Oh, not yet. Coming soon. I'm pretty sure this is going to be the three. <laughs> oh, there we go. Five across here, five across there. That's it. That's got to be a five, and that will be a three, and this doesn't need to be there. Uh, we, but we will have a pair of threes in those squares there. And uh, we've got threes across here and across there, so we know that threes must be somewhere there. Fours exist in one of those three squares there. five blocks up here and we can place our five there which will give us fives 
in these squares here. We also have fives in these squares up there. And a pair of fives there. And five across here and five up here puts five into this square or this square, which means we can remove that and we can place our five just there. And it means that this is five and this is not. Uh, obviously, our missing digits up here are four and six. Let's put those in for a moment. Um, and then we will work out what goes down here. So we've got four and six. We've got seven blocking across there, so that's going to be the seven. And the other missing digit is going to be eight, eight blocks across here. So we'll put the eight down there. Do that first. Right, let's go back to this. One, two, uh, three. Sevens are up there. We've got eight blocking down here, so this is going to be eight here. Eight blocking down here, that gives us a pair of eights there. Nine blocking up here down there, we can place a nine in this square. Okay, so the missing digits down here are going to be 4 and 6, and the missing digit here is a 7. And in the middle here we're looking for 4 in those squares there, and the other missing number here is, uh, what, 6, which I think can be anywhere. Right, let's just check again. Can we do any more? Okay, so pretty much as I started to add in the extra candidates last time, I don't think I've done anything more or less this time. Pretty similar to what I had before, I believe. Uh, and I, like I, I forgot to do all of the candidates, let me put it like that, but I discovered, I thought I discovered something up here, um, but I uh, um, think I'm, let's see, one, two, three, we don't have four, we've got five, we don't have six, uh, we have seven, we don't have eight, but we don't have nine, okay, so yeah, I definitely messed this up last time. Um, so there's quite a lot of candidates to be put in here, but I think I'm gonna have to do it. Um, we do have nine and eight blocking across here like this, so we get eight and nine in these corner squares like that. Uh, we have eights here like this and we have nines across anywhere there like that. Uh, let's see, ones, two, so two blocking across over here so um, twos in those squares there. Three, four. I don't know anything about fours in this block here. Uh, six. Six blocking up here like this. Six there again. I don't think I know anything here about the sixes. Seven across here. Eight. 
8 is done, 9 is done, right? Okay. Yeah, I, I, I got it wrong before. Would have led to a fluke. If I'd continued the game, if I'd finished the game, it would have been a fluke. But I'm glad I stopped in my tracks. Um, okay, just going to go ahead and put in the rest of the candidates. I know the Notation Free Brigade are probably screaming by now because they've seen something like a triple, but I haven't noticed any, but that's too bad. Uh, what do we know about threes? They're done on this shoot. Fours are done in this shoot. Fives are done in this shoot. Six is six blocks up here. Six is possible in those squares there. What do we know about seven? Seven blocks across here like this. So it could go in those squares and down here seven could go anywhere. Eight is done and nine blocks across here. So nine possible like that and down here nine can still go anywhere. Right, let's have a look and see. not spotting anything so let's go and fill in the last blocks uh, what do we know down here four do we know anything don't think so four goes there what do we know about the six again I just don't know and the nine I just don't see it I don't have a clue okay so one more block to I'll just have a quick check down here but well, ah, we've got seven, eight, and nine. We've got three numbers in three squares here. So, in fact, uh, we've got to get rid of those nines in those squares there. So that's something. So that means nines have to be in these squares so we can get rid of those nines over there. So how are we doing on nine now? Um... Sixes. Hmm. Two, six, nine. We've got three numbers in these three squares. So that means this is going to be a three or eight, but. I don't know that that's helpful yet. Okay, let's just carry on and do it then. So, uh, one, two, what do we know about threes in this block? I'm going to say nothing. What do we know about fours? They block across here. Um, as far as I've done, was a six? I have no idea again. Except that I know this can't be six, right? Because I've got two, six, and nine there. So six in these squares. Uh, eight blocks up here and across there. Th but eight is still available in those squares. Yeah, three, eight. And then nine blocking across here like this. Ah, okay, so 9 has to be in either this square or this square now, which means that this can't be 9. And so finally we end up with a 7 there. And that means we can remove 7s in all of these squares here. And also this must now be a 3. And I hope that's going to be enough to get us on our way. And the 7 must be in this square here. Um, is it going to be enough to move us forward? Yeah, we've got the 8 here now, so this is going to be the 3. So let's get rid of these 3s. Uh, let's and that means this is the only possible 3 position now, and 3 will be there, and we can remove 3 from there. Now what? We have a pair of 4 and 6 here, so 4, 6, 8, that's going to be 8. And it means we get rid of all of these candid eights that we don't need. So slowly, slowly, catchy monkey, as they say. Four, six, this has got to be two. 
four, six, so no six available, no two available, this has got to be three. Six goes there. Uh, this is going to be four. We're left with six in that square. And we should get rid of sixes here. We have four six here and here, so these squares must remove their fours and sixes, and that will leave us with five and nine. So now we have to get rid of all of these excess nines. Um, there weren't any fives to get rid of. Okay. Uh, right, what's next? I see three numbers here. That can't be right. We can only have um, two numbers there. We've got fours here already, so those fours have to go. Right, what else? We have four six, four six, four six, and four six seven. So using our understanding of unique rectangle, we know that that's going to be a seven and that this is not going to be a seven. We've got a pair of four and six here now, so this four, six, eight must be an eight. And we should get rid of those eights over there and get rid of this eight here as well. We've got a six here already, so this must be a nine. And that gives us a five here. And a four there with a six over here. And a four there. Six there. Four, four, excuse me, four, I can't get the right key. Four there, two there. Uh, got a lot of twos to get rid of. We have six, seven. This can't be six, can't be four, it must be one. One, nine, 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 two. Six, four, four, six, four, six, and uh, six, seven up here, six in that square. Uh, what are we left with in this column? We're left with two and eight, I think. So we got two already here this is going to be this is not two six nine we've got already so that's the eight and we'll be left with two down here so that's our seven uh, nine there eight two nine missing number here five eight there seven there so that's our what is it? Los Angeles Times expert level puzzle. For me, it was a tough game. I couldn't get there without pencil marks. Um, but maybe you spotted something extra. And congratulations to you if you did. But uh, as I said, um, my only promise is to get you to the end of the game. And I have fulfilled my promise. That's it. Take care. Bye-bye.